there's just a small town feel to being in a rural district. It, it's nice to be able to know who the kids are, to know who the parents are. It's a point of pride at CCA to be able to say we provided kind of that small town feel. Well, our numbers have been growing. We started 150 fifth graders this year, which will make our middle school program double next year. The kids that are helping to push us to the eastern edge of the district, um, well, that's part of our boundary and it has been for several years. We haven't really, it hasn't been developed yet and so now it's being developed. And, uh, if the development comes to fruition in Coralville and there are 650, 700 new houses, that means a lot more kids and we're just currently not able to just assume those kids into our current spaces because we are quickly running out of space in all of our buildings. The student engagement within our high school is really important. What makes a student eager to come to school is oftentimes their elective classes. We know that we all need those core classes, but if we can spark an interest in a student by offering a career and technical education class, we definitely will. We are making that career connection for those kids and that they have potential and that not every kid is gonna to go to college, that a lot of them do wanna go directly into industry. When this high school was built in 2009, we did not bring the shop with us. The shop has always been at the middle school, which was formerly the high school. Now is the time to bring the industrial arts department over to the high school, incorporate industrial arts into the high school CTE. You don't have to watch the news for very long to see that there is a severe shortage of skilled labor out there. The light bulb goes on, they're starting to make career connections and they're starting to see the relevance and the importance of what they're learning in the classroom and how that could potentially be a career for them. We need to be able to expose our students to what they would experience out on a job site tomorrow, not what they would have experienced 10 or 20 years ago. So we need not only the physical space, but with that would come the equipment, the, uh, the type of technology that is being used every day out on job sites, whether it's as an electrician, a welder, a plumber, etc., and so on. But this is something that we're gonna use for the next 10, 15, 20 years. This is a resource that we are going to grow into. We're not building just to fit, we're building for growth. The, the need's there, it's real. It's not gonna go away if we don't build a building. Uh, we will have to come up with very creative ways and probably not the most ideal states to be able to educate kids um, in the next few years without having an extra building. Without having that, people just need to know that the state that they know of CCA and what they expect from education will still be there, but how we deliver it and what that looks like for capacities and classroom sizes won't be what they're used to. And I think people hang their hat on having our smaller class sizes and smaller uh, adult to student ratios. People like that, they want to keep that, and we don't want to lose that either.